Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we will see how you can run your Python script and access AWS service. It could be any service like say S3 service. Now AWS provides Boto3 library and this is the SDK library which we will try to use and we will see what all things you have to set up and once that setup is done, then you can run your script to access any of the AWS service. So we will need one IAM user. So we'll create a user, say by name test user, and we'll create a role. And for this demo specifically, this role will allow accessing S3 bucket, any operation on S3. And then we'll create a trust for this user into this role. And then in our Python script, we will actually call STS service to assume this role when the Python script runs. So let's get started. First, we'll go to AWS and create this IAM user. So log into AWS console, go to users, add users, give a name to the user. In this here, I am trying to create a test user. I will not assign any permissions or any group to it and just hit create user. Now user is created. Now we'll go and try to create a role. We'll go back to AWS console. Before we create role, just go to test user and copy the ARN. So here is the user ARN. This will be required to create a trust with the role. Hit on roles, create role. And because we want to give the trust entity type as a user, so we'll use a custom trust policy here. And under principles, we'll add AWS. And we'll provide the user ARN. So this will create trust to assume this role. Next, in permissions, we'll select S3. You can select specific permission which you need. For demo purpose, I am selecting full access to S3. You may not need it in real scenarios. And then you give a name to this role name. Role to access S3 and hit create role and if you scroll down this role is created here and keep a note of ARN and here you can see the permissions for S3 and in trust relationship it allows to trust test user so when we will try to assume role on behalf of this user it will be allowed so now as per our diagram we have IAM user we have a role and a trust relationship is established between user and this role. Now we will add something in Python script so that the script could call STS service to assume this role. Now let's see how we can write this Python script. So now I am using Ubuntu on WSL2. So I have installed Docker desktop on Windows laptop and this is my Ubuntu session. And here I have created a Python script. So my Python script is connect AWS using role. And if I added this script to exactly show what it's doing, it's importing Boto3 library and it's importing JSON library, establishing the account ID, the AWS account where it will try to connect. And this first line STS underscore client is actually creating a Boto3 client for STS. And then using STS client, I start assuming role and this is the role ARN which we have created and we'll provide a role session name something which it will be unique for it so S3 access and then I'm trying to print to see what actually it returns and out of this assume role object I will take out the part where credentials are actually provided where we'll have access key and secret key and the session token so that also will print and show what it actually provides as a result and then boto3.client will actually create a client for S3 and we will pass the temporary access key and the temporary secret along with the session token because this session token expires after a specific time. Now this whole thing will be done for a specific region so pass region along with it. And once you get S3 client ready then you can do whatever operation you want to do with the S3 bucket. So here I will just show how to list buckets and the results which it comes will be published and shown. Okay, now we'll exit the script and try to run it. Okay. 
and you see it has added out saying error occurred calling assume role operation the reason being that user which we created we have not configured the access key and secret key for that user in this session so we have to do that so we'll go back to AWS console to the user and under security credentials we'll create access keys for this user Now this access key will configure in this session AWS configure and now we'll try to run the same script again so it has come positive now let's roll up and see so first it returned assume role object and you see it has credential assume role user details and some other metadata out of which we took only the creds which have access key id the secret access key and the session token with expiration along with it and then we use these creds to access bucket and we got the list of all the buckets so you see it's very easy to access AWS service through Python script using role now one question could be why we have to use role why not directly give permission to this user and use its access key to access S3 the benefit will come when you have multiple accounts that time you don't need to create user in all the accounts you can create user in one account and create trust relationship with the roles which you create in different accounts and then this user can actually assume role in different accounts to access the services in their respective AWS accounts it could be test account development account staging account prod account so you will have user in one place and roles created in different accounts to assume them and then access it I hope this helps you to understand and create your own scripts to access AWS services. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.